L-I-S-H-A-100, now I feel Pull a bit around myself You got charcoal filters On yellow malt liquor You make my grey skies blue I drink a daily As my stomach's failing But I don't give a fuck Old English, I'm in love with you Old English, I'm in love with you Old English, I'm in love with you <clears throat> So, Leela's exhausted already But this has to get done So, if you don't mind, I shall begin <laughs> So it's the eve of Christmas Eve and I've been working super hard in trying to make Christmas presents. Have a look at my apartment, it's an absolute mess. This is the mess I've been crafting. So for my mother, I've been making tote bags. This is my mum's, name's Tina. This is my sister's. Um, this was a latest family illustration that I worked on today. I actually really like that one. I say actually, I like. I always like my illustrations. I take a lot of time when I paint families. It, it takes me so long to do, but it's um, it's. It's usually quite draining for me, but only because I, I really, really focus on each person in the family and I try and convey that the best I can into like a children's illustration. Because it's not about, you know, making them look at, it's not like a perfected portrait painting, it's to try and get the essence of their personality through. But I love, I love painting families. And then, I'll just see if I can show you. I have just been painting some ceramic coasters for my dad. I wanted to do something special. Let's have a look. I wanted him to... There we go. Happy Christmas, Papa. I've also done my sister a set. They're just drying here. I really like them, actually. I'm quite surprised how they turned out. Nice. If you're wondering what this is doing here, it's uh, because I can't afford to go to the gym. So I bought a really, really cheapo exercise bike to try and get me in shape to go back to Papagino. But um, yes, so I've been trying to make make my gifts for people because I'm on a budget for Christmas. And also I thought I'd do something nice for my dad. I thought I'd bake him some cookies. You know, I bought a nice little box to put them in, and this is how they turned up. One second. That's how they turned up. It's an absolute disaster. Luckily, they taste, they taste alright, but it's completely my fault. Because... I buttered the dish, you're not supposed to butter it apparently. I called my mum up like, oh my god I've ruined the cookies and she just, she found it hilarious, found it absolutely hilarious. And so I'm just gonna I'll put them in the box for Andy and my dad and just be like, these cookies represent me as a daughter. I uh, look like I'm falling apart but I'm, I'm all nice inside hopefully maybe I don't know so yeah that's my crafty day Leela's wondering what on earth I'm doing you've been really good though haven't you past few days we go for really nice long walks in the morning you've gotten used to it now you haven't bitten anyone for a while 
She doesn't bite anyone, she's just a bit nippy. But I haven't, I pretty much haven't seen anyone for a week. Hey! She's trying to attack me. Um, because I've been trying to work so, um, to get all this stuff done. But, I do apologise for how messy it is. Um, it, it is literally just because I'm, I'm crafting. I'm trying to get these presents done and, and also I'm going to be, um, I really like these coasters that I've done, so I'm going to be, I always said I wanted to go into ceramics, so I'm going to be, um, putting them on the shop, so if anyone would like to buy some, please feel welcome, same with family commissions and stuff, but, um, this is what I love to do, I need to get a bigger table to, to do all this arty stuff, but, yeah, and I've really enjoyed doing the tote bags as well. I may, I might probably put them on the shop as well. Who knows? But, um, yeah, it's, it's Christmas Eve, Eve. It doesn't really feel like Christmas right now. I think it's just because I've, I've been indoors a lot trying to get all this, um, all, all this work done. And usually the, you, it's, you know, people getting caught up in the Christmas shopping and stuff like that. Um, and, and I haven't seen anyone like uh, on Christmas Eve tomorrow. Me and my friends have always had a tradition, and we always meet up on Christmas Eve and go out to the pub. And we go out early, so we come home early. And part of me is just like, I think I might just spend it with my with my mum and dad. I think I might just spend it with them and take the dogs for a walk. And you know, my sister only lives around the corner. I can see my nephew, so I. Might, I yeah, who knows? I know what I'm like. I'm very fickle. But it'd be nice to not be hungover on Christmas Day for once. But anyway, all the best. I hope you're prepared anyway. And uh, I'll send you lots of love.
I'm just trying to clean up the apartment, clean up all the mess. Um, I've got some my Christmas presents. Uh, I'm also just trying to organise some prints that need to be posted off. This is Kevin. Say hello to Kevin. And also we've got some really, 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 I'm really excited about these. Look at them. Some really cool notebooks. So I've said that I've always wanted to do. I always wanted Papagino to survive um, on the shop. And that's what I've been really trying to do. So yeah, I'm going to be working really, really hard to raise money. Uh, before I go back so I can do even more renovations and here's Leela looking very grumpy because she doesn't like the hoover I've just cleaned You're miserable aren't you? You've had treats, you have food She was upset today because I gave her a can of food and she ate it so fast that she just threw it all back up She threw it all back up Unfortunately, we're going around my mother's and that was the last can of dog food um, that I've got. So, she's going to have to wait till we're around my mum's. So you're going to have to wait half an hour, love. Wait half an hour, alright. She's got to wait, ain't she? But, yeah, I feel, I feel really, really good, actually. Um, like I say, like, um, it's tradition on... Christmas Eve for me and my friends to all get together and for the first time I'm like I'm not sure whether I'm gonna go I might just hello sweetheart I might just spend time with my parents my nephew and that but I also want to share something else with you um, I had something in the post uh, Edward wrote a book um, published it. I designed the front cover and uh, he wrote a little letter to me as well and uh, I won't read it out but yeah it was beautiful and I miss him very much but we, we talk we talk all the time um, still a lot of love there but we're it's it's very clear we're both on our different paths and I just I just need to keep to mind I need to stay focused and He's going in his direction, and I'm going in mine, and you know, who knows what happens in the future. At the moment, I feel like uh, the universe has put me alone to really focus on myself and for the longevity of Papagino and I. The most important thing for me right now is um, my happiness, and I'm really, really, really going to work hard for that. And I feel like I've come really far, actually. I feel, I feel, um, of course there's times where I feel a bit sad, but that's just, that's just normal. That's having a balance, and I think it's very important to stay balanced. Things are improving. Also, um, I always make my parents a Christmas card. Um, I haven't finished this one yet. It looks terrible right now. But this is their Christmas card right now. Da -da. It's a work in progress. Thing is, my parents like when they want something, they they, they just buy it. But, um, so because I'm on budget, there's nothing really spectacular that I can buy them, but I can make them stuff. Even if it's ruined cookies and tote bags and stuff. And the most important thing is about being with your family over Christmas, isn't it? Alrighty. I hope you guys have a wonderful bloody day. And I wish you all the best.
pops in here now, day after Christmas, and I've had a really wonderful time. It's been amazing just to spend this time with <clears throat> friends and family and Christmas Eve I actually ended up going out with Laura and we danced a lot in her kitchen and I love her so much. Um, so right now I'm about to go to the village pub we used to go to when I was little with my family. I mean I didn't drink there but they did. And um, we're going to see all my family and I'm really really grateful. I've had, I've had a wonderful Christmas and um, I feel, feel really grateful that I get to have hot food on a plate. I'm really grateful that I get to have a roof over my head. And I'm really grateful for my health and that I'm just really lucky. I live in Britain and um, we're not destroyed by war. I'm not affected by these, these issues that so many people are going through right now. And I feel very grateful and I have my thoughts go out to everyone whose Christmas has been a bit difficult this year and I also say a big thank you to all those in the emergency defence and public sector that um, had to work Christmas day like our, our nurses and police and firefighters so thank you for being awesome um, now it's going to be New Year it's me and my friends we're going to go down south of England to Southsea and um, we're going to take Leela and we're going to celebrate New Year's all together, which I can't wait to show you. And uh, and then the New Year is going to be all about adventures on Papagino. It's amazing. I'm, I'm so excited to go back. And I'm so ready to get fit again. I need to get ready for bikini season. You know what I mean? But apart from that, um, I really want to make more of a change in 2019, be more responsible of my time to try and help others and Papa Gino is really going to try and do that. So yeah, watch this space. So I wish you guys a very, very beautiful winter season, I said I've originally practice and um, send you all my love uh, Happy Christmas, all the best. And a happy new year to you too, sir.